Hi, welcome to Forever Paranormal with Dr. Bill and Deb. The term paranormal refers to phenomena and experiences that are beyond the scope of normal scientific understanding and cannot be easily explained through traditional scientific principles. These phenomena often challenge conventional beliefs and are associated with the supernatural, metaphysical, or unexplained aspects of reality. As with any field of inquiry, it is essential to approach the paranormal with an open but critical mind, relying on empirical evidence and logical reasoning to draw conclusions. It's a topic that continues to intrigue and challenge both believers and skeptics alike, and if we can connect a paranormal element to it, we'll talk about it. You'll be surprised by what all can be connected to the paranormal. Please don't forget to follow, rate, and share the show since it would not be possible without you, our listeners. And as a public service, we would like to let everyone know that you are truly never alone, even if you think you are. The Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is 988. Please just reach out. Well, hello there everyone, and welcome to this week's show, where we are going to discuss the spiritual meaning of seeing crows. Hi, Deb. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well this week. So you got anything new going on? No, but I did reintroduce myself to some funk music in order to get myself out of a funk, and it seems to be working. Well, good for you. I'm glad you're funking down. (laughs) Okay, as we talked about at the beginning, we're going to talk about the crow and its spiritual meanings. But to do that, we need to understand a little bit about spirit animals in the form of a spirit guide. And it is deeply rooted in the indigenous and Native American cultures. They are believed to be your spirit guide that will present themselves to us in whatever way we are willing to see them in. This includes using the form of an animal we are familiar with seeing on a regular basis. Would that include a pet? No, not really. A pet would be a pet, but our spirit animal is basically the same thing as what we would know as a witch's familiar. Most people would associate a black cat as the witch's familiar, and that can definitely be one, but all in all, It is a spirit guide or a helper spirit, not really a pet. So they're really two different things. I see. A spirit animal carries wisdom, meaning, and power. And it is a personal journey to discover yours. However, if you're not into deep meditation and the dedication it takes for this type of spiritual journey, there are many quizzes on the internet you can take which will supposedly tell you your spirit animal. Me, I personally believe that taking an internet quiz to learn anything about yourself is not only a waste of time, but an insult to many, many different cultures. It's the same for someone's spirit or totem animal. Be aware that your spirit animal can and will change at different times, depending on what you are paying attention to or the lesson spirit is trying to teach you. We're not digging too deep into this particular rabbit hole this week as we are going to focus mainly on a spiritual meaning of seeing a different number of crows. Some Native American cultures have as many as nine different totem or spirit animals that go with you for life. So we're really not going to jump into that hole too much. But when do you know when you are just simply seeing an animal? Well... If you're seeing them all the time or even just seeing an animal, if you're spiritually awake and spiritually aware, you can find a spiritual meaning in seeing that animal. And it's any other sign that that the spirit or the universe gives you if you're willing to observe it and see it. So it's all going to be up to whoever sees the animal on what they see. Do they see the animal as a nuisance eating a tree in their yard? Or they see it for the beauty that the deer is. So it's going to be up to the interpretation of the person. 
And that's really how you know what you're seeing. So, Deb, our loyal listeners know that I have habituated a murder of crows as they are one of my spirit animals, and they are associated with several different gods and goddesses, including Odin, the Norse god, Hecate, the mother of witches, and Morgan, the Celtic goddess of war and death. Crows are on every continent except Antarctica, which is why they appear in so much symbolism, folklore, and mythology, and even have multiple places within the Bible. Crows symbolize many different things in many cultures, and it seems the main one people relate them to is death. But one needs to understand what is meant by death. Like the death card in a tarot deck, it does not, let me repeat this, it does not mean that you or the person the card is drawn for is going to die. Death, in this instant, simply means change, nothing more. Now, understand that it could be a change for the good, or it could be a change for the bad, but it's still only a change. We'll get into that a little more as we go along here. The intelligence level of the crow is considered to be one of the highest, and is on the same level as primates and elephants. They make tools to use, have great memories, including being able to recognize human faces, use both verbal and nonverbal communication, and are great problem solvers. Okay, wait. Tools? I'm very curious about how that happens. Well, you got to remember, tools aren't just hammers and saws. Mm-hmm. They're objects that are used to accomplish a task, right? So here's a little example of their problem-solving skills, which uses tools, and it can be understood from the Aesop fable called The Crow and the Pitcher, which is about a crow in the desert that is thirsty. He comes upon a pitcher of water, but his beak is not too long, and it's short, and he can't reach the water in the pitcher. He realizes that if he tips the pitcher over, he might lose all of the water in it. So, he decides to innovate and starts putting pebbles into the pitcher of water. Eventually, the pebbles displace the water at the bottom of the pitcher, pushing the liquid to the top of the, and a level to where he can drink it. So, therefore, he used the pebbles as a tool to raise the water. Just okay. like some of the crows we have here, when they're eating the chicken bones and stuff, they'll come and they'll bring them and they'll drop them in the water of the bird bath and let them soak till they soften up. Then they grab them and they eat them. So they're using the water as a tool. Pretty ingenious. They sound smarter than me because I never would think of any of that. Well, yeah, so let's move on here. (laughs) Oh, whatever. (laughs) Crows and ravens are both monogamous and mate for life. But, unlike the raven who prefers to run around basically only with their mate, crows will gather into groups called murders and will work together to solve problems or share really good food sources with each other. Like the owl and the raven, the crow also symbolizes psychic abilities. The crow is said to be able to see the past, the present, and the future. If a crow is your power animal... You most likely possess special insights into situations where others may not. In other words, you just know things sometimes. And that may go back to explain sometimes how you know what your spirit animal is. You just got to see what goes on in your life and what animals correlate with it. Okay, I know you've probably had enough schooling on crows and are wondering if we're ever going to get to the meaning of seeing them. Well, okay, here it is. What does it mean when you see a crow? Well, that depends on many different things, including the cultural beliefs and the number of crows you see. For example, where people were primarily nomadic and relied on hunting and gathering, crows were seen as positive symbols. However, in cultures that were more agrarian, Crows were seen more negatively, possibly because they were disruptive to the crops. So now we know they have both positive and negative attributes. But what are they? The positive meaning of the crow spirit animal is intelligence. 
higher perspective, being fearless, audacious, flexibility, adaptability, magic and mystery of creation, personal transformation, alchemy, and destiny. The negative symbolic meanings of the crow, spirit, animal are mischief and trickster-like behaviors, manipulation and cunning, reputation for being a bad omen, scavenging and stealing behaviors, and their association with dark magic and witchcraft. Even though, personally, I think this was just a bad rap from Noah, this whole black magic and witchcraft thing. Why do you think that? Well, as I said earlier, the crows are in the Bible several times, and when Noah was wondering if the earth was ready, the land was dry enough for man to walk again, on the earth again, he first sent out a raven. But the raven never returned. So Noah said, because the raven's a scavenger and he can scavenge on the dead carcasses floating in the water, he's just dark. So the next time he sent out a dove, but the dove returned empty-handed. It wasn't until the third time that he sent out a dove that it returned with an olive branch. And ever since then, the crows have had a bad rap, in my opinion, but ever since then. I see. Okay, so here is how author Amelia Brunton describes the spiritual significance and meaning based on the number of crows you see. According to superstitions, each number has a specific meaning. For example, seeing two crows may symbolize good luck or fortune, while seeing six crows could represent bad luck or danger. It is believed that the number of crows you see can also indicate the severity of the message. So, if you see a single crow, it might be a warning about something minor. But if you see a group of five or more crows, it could be a sign of something major is about to happen. Okay, as we go through these, I want you to keep in mind that each number that you see, there are three or more different interpretations of what that means. And each person has to decide which interpretation is correct for them at that time. So let's get started. Seeing one crow. When you see a crow in your backyard or flying around you, it is a sign that it is here to carry a message from someone near who has died recently. This is because crows are associated with death and the afterlife in many cultures. In some cultures, seeing a crow in the morning is a sign that your dead relatives or friends were close to you. In other cultures, crows are seen as messengers from the gods or the dead. Either way, seeing a crow is a powerful sign that someone close to you has died recently or is trying to connect with you. A guidance from the angel or spirit guide. Have you ever had one of those days where everything seems to be going wrong? You wake up on the wrong side of the bed, your coffee spills, you get stuck in traffic, It feels like the universe is conspiring against you. But then, out of nowhere, you see a crow. Seeing a single crow means guidance from the angel or spirit guide to face difficult times. Whenever you are having challenging times, your angel will always guide you to the solution. So, if you see a crow, take it as a sign that better days are ahead and that you should keep moving forward. It could also mean you are not alone. A crow is a very special creature, and they are often seen as a sign from the universe. If you see a single crow in your backyard or flying around you, it is a message from the spiritual realm that you are not alone. You have always been supported by the universe to make your life as much easier and more fruitful as possible. Or it could mean bad luck. Crows are often seen as a bad omen and their appearance is said to be a warning sign that you are going to face negative circumstances soon. If you see a crow in your backyard or flying around you, be prepared for some bad luck. While it may be tempting to try and avoid crows, remember that they are just birds and there is no need to be afraid of them. Even if they do bring bad luck, there is always hope that things will turn out for the best. Well, on that note, it can also mean impending destruction. 
When you see a crow flying over you, it means that destruction is about to enter your life. This moment of destruction will change everything, but it also leads us to a new beginning. The destruction may be something as small as losing your job, or your car keys, or getting into a car accident. However, this destruction will lead to a new beginning that will help you grow and learn from the experience. Now let's move on to seeing two crows. Good news! Crows are known to be messengers of upcoming events. In many cultures, they are seen as omens of good news. If you see a pair of crows sitting close to you or flying around your house, it could mean that some good news is on its way. Keep your eyes wide open and be on the lookout for any good opportunities that may come your way. It could also mean peace and harmony. If you notice a pair of crows around you or near your house, it means that your disturbed state of mind is going to enjoy peaceful moments. There is a harmony of mind and body when we let go of our mental chatter and just be in the moment. Nature always provides us with what we need when we open ourselves up to receive it. This is a message from the spiritual war world represented by two crows. Well, if you see a pair of crows sitting together in your backyard, it means that new seasons are coming into your life. This can symbolize new beginnings in the form of anything. For example, if you see two crows sitting on a branch, it could mean that spring is coming and all new life will soon be blooming. Or, if you see two crows flying together, it could mean that autumn is on its way and changes are coming. No matter what the season may be, seeing two crows together is always a sign of new beginnings. So, if you spot a pair of crows in your backyard, take it as a good sign and prepare for something new to come into your life. When you see a pair of crows flying, it spiritually symbolizes the duality of your character, strength and weakness, love and hatred, happiness and sorrow. It is important to remember that we all have both light and dark within us. There is always a conflict between these two aspects of yourself. But you have to be guided by positive emotion in order to find balance and harmony in your life. If you see a pair of crows, it symbolizes you are indecisive in nature. You have many options from which you have to choose the best one that is helpful for humanity. Sometimes you may feel like you are stuck in life and unable to make progress because you cannot decide which path to take. However, remember that every decision you make is an opportunity to learn and grow. Trust your intuition and let your heart guide you to the right choice. Two crows are a reminder that you have all the power within you to create the life that you want. Okay, so now we move on to scene three crows, which also has a little better symbolism. When it comes to the spiritual meaning of seeing three crows nearby or flying, it is an omen of good health and wellness among the family members. This is because the number three is associated with divine perfection, completeness, and unity. In other words, seeing three crows means that the family is blessed with good health and they're able to live in harmony with each other. Also, when you see three crows flying near you or sitting on a nearby tree, it means that the wedding season is coming and that you should start preparations for the event. This is the best time to refresh yourself and your home so that everything is ready for the big day. The wedding event or any other festive occasion may take place at your home or in a relative's home, but no matter where it is held, it will be a mem memorable day for all involved. Yes, and, and I think the wedding day is not an actual wedding day per se, or the wedding season. It's just a love and joyful time that it's, that's being represented. Mm -hmm. If you see three crows flying near you or in your vicinity, it could be a sign that your guardian angel is present. Angels are here to guide us through challenging times and to motivate us to move on the spiritual path. Seeing three crows may also be a spiritual sign that you need to pay attention to your intuition or inner voice. 
These guardian angels are trying to tell you something important, so make sure you listen. It's no surprise that finding three crows nearby or seeing them fly overhead can be interpreted as a spiritual sign of transformation. This could be mental or emotional transformation, physical transformation, or spiritual transformation. Whatever form it takes, seeing three crows is a sign that change is coming. For those who are open to it, this can be an exciting time of growth and exploration. But for others who resist change, it can be a time of fear and uncertainty. Either way, the appearance of three crows is a powerful reminder that nothing in life is ever static. Let's move on to seeing four crows. If you see four crows flying near you, it's a sign of good luck. The spiritual meaning of four crows means that your prayers have been answered and good things are coming your way. Four is a lucky number in many cultures, so seeing four crows is a very positive sign. Seeing four crows nearby or flying is a sign of wealth and prosperity, according to many spiritual beliefs. It is seen as a good omen that signals a new source of income will be uncovered or a job promotion is on the horizon. Some cultures believe that it also means that someone will come into money unexpectedly, such as through the lottery. To them, it is a reminder that good things come in fours. In whatever way it manifests, seeing four crows is considered to be a very lucky sign. But I do have to add in here, in order to win the lottery, you got to play the lottery. <laughs> you got to play. We're, we're really bad about that. It, it's going to be a long time before we ever win the lottery. Yep. Okay. So, when you see four crows flying together, it is a sign that the universe is trying to tell you something. This message is usually one of stability. The crows are telling you to stay strong and be stable in your life. This is especially important when you feel like you are losing control. The crows will always be there to remind you to stay stable and strong. The spiritual meaning of seeing four crows nearby or flying means maintaining a balance in life. This can be interpreted that spirit wants us to maintain a balanced life both physically and mentally. A balanced life is important to live a happy and fulfilling life. It is essential to have a healthy body and mind in order to achieve this balance. Okay, now moving on to five crows. If you see five crows flying in your backyard or above your head, it might be an omen of poor health or illness in the family. Your family members might catch a disease or have physical or mental health issues. Even if they don't, the crow's presence could be a warning sign that something just isn't quite right. Another spiritual meaning of seeing five crows is that a big turning point is coming in your life. Be prepared for the change and embrace it, as it will teach you lessons that will be good for your future. Seeing five crows together means increased spiritual activity around you. This is a good time for your spiritual development. So, if you've been wanting to start or deepen your meditation practice, now is the time. Or, if you've been feeling called to do some energy work or healing, this is an auspicious time to begin. Trust your intuition and let the crows be your guide on your journey in your spiritual growth. In her original article, the author covered up to seeing nine crows and more, and the different associations and spiritual meanings about this. And I encourage you to search out and read her work if you would like to learn more. The crow is a symbol of magic and mystery. Its connection to the unknown and ability to adapt to change make it a powerful spirit animal for those seeking transformation. The crow is also an enduring symbol of intelligence, a higher perspective with fearless audacity. But the crow is not all sunshine and rainbows. It is known for its mischievous and trickster-like behavior and has a reputation for being quite cunning. A symbol of ill omen and deception, it can be associated with the shadow side of one's character. You know, your shadow side is the bad things about yourself that most people 
don't work on and admit. And you need to do a lot of meditation to come in contact with your own bad things and deal with those and learn to use them for good. You have to understand your weaknesses and turn them into powers. But, anyhow, this is like many other things. Seeing a crow boils down to your own personal perspective and interpretation at the time that you see them. It's like the good and the bad. You know, how do you feel that day? If you feel all negative energy, you will only see the crows as a symbolism of all the negative things, a symbol of all the negatives. If you are full of positive energy, you will see the crows as the positive aspects, the positive things in life. It is up to us to interpret the meanings. Do you see crows often? Maybe since we've learned a little about them and the meaning they bring, you will begin to see more of them. And when you're looking for guidance, just like the rest of us, maybe you can turn to the crow and get a little help in your life. What do you think, Deb? Well, if I'm out in the world and I see crows, I'm usually not thinking about how many I'm seeing, but if I ever do, I'm actually going to count them and see what it actually means. Well, I don't usually count them. I usually see two. And there may be 20 of them there, but I see two all the time. And I think that's because two is one of the better numbers. That's just what I observe. But I always smile and I say hi to crows when I see them. We can be on hikes. We hear a crow. I say hi, crow. You know how I am. Mm -hmm. So, but what about you folks? We would love to hear what you have to say on this subject. And our contact information can be found in the show notes of this episode. And as always, thanks for listening. And until next time, when we discuss another tale yet to be told. Thank you for listening. And remember to like and share the show. We would also appreciate a five-star rating wherever possible to help new listeners find the show. We welcome all questions or comments you may have about this or any other episode, and our contact information can be found in the show notes of this episode. You can also follow us at foreverparanormal.com, and if you'd like to support us, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash foreverparanormal. The links to these are also in the show notes of this episode. 